Conference titles and playoff berths are on the line as we head down the home stretch to the regular season. Holman entered the night undefeated in the MVC and alone in first place. One team on their heels, Central. They met tonight and News 19's Colton Emsweiler was there. Good evening, Colton. Get this, Scott. Holman has been on quite the run, having won five in a row since losing their season opener. But not to be outdone, Central has won three of its last four contests. Some high stakes football from Herring Stadium tonight. Central's got a two point lead in the second. That's when Christian Rudrud finds Derek Pangier through the air. Nice catch, and it gives the Riverhawks an 18 to 10 lead at the break. The drive to start the third was a masterpiece. First, instead of punting, Holman accepts a penalty to make it third and 16. An amazing play design as Caden Opwan gets the dump off with blockers and converts for a fresh set of downs. And Rudrud finishes the drive himself up the middle for a rushing score. That possession took 10 minutes and six seconds off the clock, which is insane. In the fourth, Vikings just can't get anything going. This is going to be a fumble recovered by Adam Kleinhans, and the home side gets it back. And it would be Rude Rude again, finding his way through the pile for his second on the ground as Central goes up by 20. We got time for another, and it's Jude Alvarado going to be complete to Connor Growth on fourth down. Now, Holman did get one in the middle of all that, but this one would put the game out of reach. Central dominates for a 36-17 win, a massive dub for the Riverhawks in front of their home fans. Uh, you know, really, we're just a smash mouth football team. You know, we got big boys up front, you know, always doing a great job. And uh, we got a great backfield, always doing their work. And can't forget about the receivers, too. They're physical. You know, if anything didn't go Central's way, they actually failed all six of their PATs. Not sure how, but it didn't matter in the end. This win gives Central a tie for the MVC lead with Holman with just two games to go, and it could be a three-way tie if Logan could pick up a victory as well. A little bit of foreshadowing as I send it back over to you, Scott.